डे स्टूडेंट माई नेम इज डॉक्टर विशाल गौड असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज बीकानेर टूडे आई विल लर्न अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन टू यू एम एल यू एम एल मीन दैट इज अनाइटेड यूनिफाइड मॉडलिंग लैंग्वेज सो ऑल द स्लाइड्स आर एडोप्ट फ्रॉम द स्लाइड्स ऑफ मिस्टर सून जिन यू एम एल क्लास ई ई एल फाइव एट एट वन फॉल टू थाउजेंड थ्री and this lecture slide were adopted from the slides of parsonath adinuthula fall 2004 first of all we will today lecture we will know about you what is uml understanding the basics of uml uml diagram and uml modeling tool and the what is uml the uml mean unified modeling language is a standard widely adopted graphical language that describe the artifact of software system with a focus on conceptual and physical representation and the one more definition a graphical language for visualizing specifying constructing and documenting the artifact of software intensive system the uml is a graphical language for visualizing specifying constructing and documenting the artifact of software intensive system the uml offer a standard way to write a system blueprint including conceptual thing such as business processes and systems function as well as concentrate thing such as programming language statement database schemas and reusable software component the uml is a language used to describe the artifact of a system so it seems quite appropriate to use it to define uml itself a meta model because it is a model that describe other model compatible meta model mean the data translation between system can be automated it is a subset of uml that describe the both uml and itself and in the process standardize meta model description the common object request blocking architecture is a middleware architecture used to link describe the components these limit create enterprise system from smaller pieces and the uml uses mostly graphical notation to express the object oriented analysis and design to software project the simplify the complex process of software design why uml for modeling uml is one single language that allow people from different disciplines to work together to identify and solve these problem before they occur developer and business analysis can map out requirement together in one language there is no need to consider the underlying technology at this stage which allows non programmer to become more involved in the development process diagram enhance the narrative and the store electronically for simple archiver uml is used to complex system to not only capture object oriented software information but business roles information as well the use of uml graphical notation to communicate more clearly than natural language and code it help acquire an overall view of a system uml is not dependent on any one language or technology uml move us from fragmentation to standardization and uml also make it easy to focus discussion on problem at hand while removing distractions and 
यू एम एल में इनिशली हैव सम रिजर्वेशन अबाउट रीडिंग मॉडल्स बट देर इज ए वेरी शॉर्ट लर्निंग कर टू बिकमिंग फैमिलियर विद यू एम एल द ग्राफिकल नेचर ऑफ द लैंग्वेज मीन दैट इवन दो विद वेरी लिटिल नॉलेज ऑफ प्रोग्रामिंग कैन पार्टिसिपेट इन द डेवलपमेंट प्रोसेस UML is the language that can be used to clarify and refine ideas that spoken language may not be adequate to cover the graphical nature of the language make it much more intuitive to learn and use and the next is the type of UML diagram we are using some diagram but if we describe the more diagram the UML diagram are graphically representation of part of uml model uml diagram contain graphical elements that present element in the uml model uml have several different types of diagram that can be used to describe a model from different point of view broadly uml diagram can be categorized into category those are structure diagram and behavior diagram UML is the two type of main is the two type of diagram that is a structure diagram and behavior diagram in the structure diagram we can use class diagram component diagram object diagram composite structure diagram deployment diagram and package diagram in the behavior diagram we that is a activity diagram use case diagram state machine diagram interaction diagram sequence diagram interaction overview diagram communication diagram and timing diagram the and the main thing is the what is a structure diagram structure diagram it is a static structure of the object in a system that is the depict those element in a specification that are irrespective of time the element in a structure diagram represent the meaningful concept of an application and may include abstract real world and implementation concept structure diagram do not show the details of dynamic behavior which are illustrated by behavior diagram in the behavior diagram show the dynamic behavior of the object in a system including their method collaboration activity and state history the dynamic behavior of a system can be described as a series of changes to the system over time and the use case diagram use case diagram is a part of behavior diagram as i would say you before the use case what is a use case diagram the diagram that show the relationship among actor and use case within a system and the class diagram class diagram describe the type of object in the system and various kinds of static relationship that exist among them and it is a diagram that show a collection of declarative static model elements such as class type and their content and relationships class diagram show a set of classes interface collaboration and their relationships the purpose of class diagram is to depict the class within a model in an object oriented application classes have attribute member variables operations that is called member functions and relationship with other classes next is the sequence diagram sequence diagram that show object interaction arranged in time sequence in particular it show the object participating in the interaction and the sequence message exchanges it display the time sequence of object participating in the interaction the collaboration diagram collaboration diagram that show object interaction organized around the object and their link to each other collaboration diagram 
are also part of interaction diagram it display the interaction it is called interaction diagram because it display an interaction organized around the object and they are linked to one another the state diagram the state diagram display the sequence of state that an object or an interaction goes through during its life in response to event together with its responses and actions and it display the sequence of state that an object of an interaction goes through during its life in response to receive stimuli together with its response responses and actions in use case diagram we use actor and the use case the actor is a role that a user play with respect to the system including human user and other systems for example intimate physical object for example that is a robot and external system that needs some information from the current system and the an actor represent role which may include human user external hardware and other system an actor is usually drawn in named stick figure uh, or alternatively as a class rectangle with the actor keyword a use case use case a set of scenario that describing an interaction between a user and a system a use case is a single unit of meaningful work it provide a high level view of behavior observable uh, to someone or something outside the system the notation for a use case is ellipse the notation for using use case is a connecting line with an optimal o arrow head showing the direction of control it indicate and the we can use uh, use case define the typically names and description requirement constraint scenario additional informations and the system boundary system boundary rectangle the rectangle diagram representing the boundary between the actor and the system the association association communication between an actor and a use case represented by a solid line generalization relationship between one general use case and one specific use case represented by a line with a triangle arrow head toward the present use case the include a dotted line labeled include beginning at base use case and ending with an arrow pointing to the include use case the include relationship occur when a chunk of behavior is similar across more than one use case use include instead of copying the description of that behavior we can use this type the include the extend a dotted line labeled extend with an arrow toward the base case the extending use case may add behavior to the base use case the base class declares extension point in the how can we use use case diagram uh, first we have see here that is a actor that is a client and that is a boundary that is a boundary and the actor the client borrow uh, that is a link the borrow the employees or an other title we can give the any title employees there are title that can be supervisor yeah and manager or this time and client is a fine limit match to the employees that is a part is also is the supervisor the generalized describe the how a system will be used provide an overview of the intended functionality of a of the system this is a use case diagram we use here the actor and the use case the use case can be any the borrow that that is the part as we described before the use case if we uh, more if continue the system boundary that is a patient that is a patient 
and the scheduler, doctor and clerk. The first of all, the patient make a appointment and scheduler check the and the patient can cancel the appointment to the from the scheduler and he can make a appointment. Okay, and the make after the this appointment, it include the check patient record. The, this is a use case. This is the patient records and the patient next go to the request medication medication to the doctor and the next the color he will pay to the pay pay bill extension point that is a more treatment the this the doctor may defer to the payment and the some guideline that is a color will uh, give with him the, some medicines and the bill insurance all these things that is a use case diagram the how can patient can take a appointment from a doctor from a scheduler and a scheduler after the schedule he can go for go to the doctor and doctor will check him and the, he will pay to the color and the all these bill insurance all these things that is uh, that will use the patient okay that is a use case diagram the use case diagram in we in this use case diagram the pay bill is a parent use case and bill insurance is the child use case as we again see that is a parent and that is a child okay and the both make appointment and request medication they include check patient record as sub task include both make appointment the request medication check patient record okay so again we see that is a make appointment check patient record and request medication and the extension point is right include inside the base case pay bill the extending class defer payment at the behavior of the extension point extended the extension point extension point and that is a generalized that is a bill insurance okay next is the class the in the class diagram as we know the class diagram depict all the thing quite easily the fundamental element of the class diagram is icon that represent a class that there, there can be names attributes and operations and the class diagram is simply rectangle divided into three compartments comp that topmost compartment contain the name of the class the middle compartment contain a list of attribute member variable and the bottom compartment contain a list of operations that is a member function in this modifier each class represented by the name attribute and operations and the modifier use the indicate visibility and the attribute and operations the plus sign is used to denote public visibility and the hash is used to denote protected visibility and the minus is used to private visibility and the by default attribute are hidden and operations are visible the last two two compartment may be omitted to simply the class diagram that is the an example of class that is a name that is attribute and operations as i say you before the topmost compartment contain the name of the class and the middle compartment contain the list of attributes that can be other if we see the topmost contain the name of class that is account name and the middle middle compartment contain the list of attribute as you see here there that is a custom custom name and the balance and the bottom compartment is the list of operations that we can be functions that is the add function add funds withdraw and transfer that is the operation that can be uh, we can operate and the multiplicity and roles for example that is a university and the one to many relationship that is a university there is a many persons in university okay and that can be employer and that means teachers okay and the multiplicity the symbol is 1 1 to may, uh, 0 to 1 my many to many that's a natural language from 0 to any position integer and the 0 to any other positive integer and the one star from 1 to any positive the role a given university group may many people some act as student other as teacher a given student belong to a single university a give a given teacher may or may not be working for the university at a particular time that we describe the class diagram the name is the order did order mean the class name is the order the attribute that will be data received is prepared number and the number that we can be string and the price and the money and the operation that will display and close and that is a class is a customer that is a name and address 
okay and that is a function that can be created rating and string and that is a association one to many because there is a one one customer can and the many order for example the if order customer credit rating is poor then the order is prepaid must be true okay that is a order line the multiplicity many role do one to many that is a quantity integer price and the, that is a order line and the corporate the customer can be two types that is a personal customer and the corporate customer corporate customer that is a employee corporate customer that can be employee okay and that is a class diagram object oriented relationship generalization for example generalization is a super type that is a sub type and the, this type of that is a one two okay and that is a x for example the customer regular customer and loyalty customer customer can be regular and the loyalty generalization express a relationship among related classes it is a class that includes its subclasses the object oriented relationship composition composition express a relationship among instance of related classes it is a specific kind of whole part relationship it express a relationship where an instance of the whole class has the responsibility to create an initialized instance of each part class it may also be used to express a relationship where instances of the part class have privileged access or visibility to certain contribute and or behavior defined by the whole class the composition should also be used to express relationship where instance of the whole class have exclusive access to and control of instances of the part classes and the composition should be used to express a relationship where the behavior of part instances is undefined without being relation to an instance of the whole and conversely the behavior of the whole is ill defined or incomplete if one or more of the part instances are undefined that is a class w that is a part of the uh, class p1 and p2 automobile that is a engine and transmission object oriented relationship that is what is the aggregation aggregation express a relationship among instances of related classes it is a specific kind of container containing relationship it express a relationship where an instance of the container class has the responsibility to hold and maintain instances of each contains class that have been created outside the a species of the container class aggregation should be used to express a more informal relationship than composition expresses that is it is an appropriate relationship where the container and its containing can be manipulated independently aggregation is appropriate when container and containing have no special access privileges to each other aggregation versus composition composition is a really a strong form of aggregation components have only one owner components cannot exist independent of their owner components live or die with their owner for example each car has an engine that can not be shared with other car aggregation may from form part of the aggregate but may not be essential to it they may also exist independent of the aggregate apple may exist independent of the bag now we will discuss about sequence diagram the how can make a call that that should be three part that the caller who will call to receive and the phone the caller will pick up the phone and he will dial the dial the phone dial the tone next dial tone will come and the now he dial and after the ring will be goes to the receipt and ring no notification to come to the caller okay and the, that he will receive will pick the phone okay and now he say to hello and hello voice will come to the caller now self call the first a and b a message that an object sent to itself condition indicate when a message is sent the message is sent only if the condition is true 
that is A and B, the A synchronize, the A synchronize to transmission delay conditional remove, that, that is a condition and that is a iteration, that is a self call. Sequence diagram object lifespan, the activation bar A and A and B that will, uh, that activation bar that, that will call and the, now the what is written on deletion that the, he will say the, again that he will return with the hello and he will not receive the phone that is a deletion and that is a return creation the a message and cre create message object life start at that point the activation symbolized by rectang rectangle strips place on the lifeline where object is activated rectangle also denote when object is deactivated deletion placing of x on lifeline object life and at that point the sequence diagram that all part do by sequence for example user catalog and reservation that he will the rule look up the catalog and the lit title the data and now he is not available or available that with a reservation title and the title returns and the whole title and the title will be now title will if available the borrow title and remove the reservation okay the sequence diagram demonstrate the behavior of object in a use case by describing the object and the message they pass the horizontal dimension shows the object participating in the interaction the vertical arrangement of message indicates their order the label may contain the sequence to indicate concurrency the interaction diagram that is a collaboration diagram as we discussed earlier the it shows the relationship between object and the order of message passes between them the objects are listed as rectangle and arrow indicate the message being passed the number next to the message are called sequence number they show the sequence of the message as they are passed between the object convey the same information as sequence diagram but focus on object role instead of the time sequence now it will start the user usual will reservation and the reservation look of the catalog and that with the catalog and after the catalog he will take the uh, title the return and the hold the time and he can reserve the any seat cr seat card class responsibility collaborator it is easy to describe how class work by moving card around allow a quick quickly consider alternative that is a class reservation responsibility what will be responsibility that is a keep list of reserve, reserve titles and the handle reservation collaborator catalog and user session state diagram state diagram show the sequence of state an object goes through during its life cycle in response to stimuli together with its response and actions and abstractions of all possible behavior that will start and the unpaid or paid and the inverse the distracting state diagram that is a traffic light example that is state that will be red start and the yellow and the if the yellow and green the card strip can be sensor and the green timer the expire okay that will be events and the yellow timer expire okay then the again we will see first start the red start the red next is the event that is a call strip the sensor now is the green light will open after that the car timer expire the green will be expired now will be yellow light and the yellow timer expire then will be red that is a UML modeling tools that is we can use rational rows that will be we find on we can find on the www.rational.com by IBM UML studio 7.1 by project soft corporation together soft control center together soft solo this this is a website we can use the UML modeling tools that is a UML studio 7.0 we can use here UML and that is a references thank you